It was 1942. We'd just left Darwin on our way to Timor to evacuate civilians and support Australian operations. Things had deteriorated, and the loss of the Voyager didn't give us much choice but to go back out. It was pretty tense on the Armadale, and we hadn't slept much or left our action stations for two days. The Japs had followed us since we left port, and within 24 hours, we'd already survived two bombing attacks. It was the 1st of December. We just wanted to get home for Christmas. Mostly crew were youngsters, not more than 20, and hadn't seen their families for months. We'd just finished lunch when it started again. Five Japanese bombers circled us, then ran in for a dive bombing attack. We fired back, hitting two of them, but the remaining three kept on, ducking just out of our line of fire. I guess we knew then we were preparing for a final assault. Seven more bombers and four fighters joined the Japs already on top of us, and next minute there were planes and torpedoes going everywhere, beating the hell out of us. I was on deck reloading a magazine when the first torpedo slammed the port side, right at the end of the mess deck. Killed most of the Dutch soldiers and ripped out our radio. The second one hit minutes later and took out the engine room and the boiler room. You could feel the ship start to go, as if its back was broken. The deck was a mess littered with bodies and cartridge shells. It was hard to keep your footing. We were sliding everywhere. We got the order to abandon ship. I remember jumping and hitting the water as fast as I could. When I came up for air, there were bullets spraying the surface and I realised those bastards were machine gunners in the water. There were bodies all around me, poor buggers, trying to swim to safety. I could feel burning in my legs where tiny pieces of shrapnel were sticking to my skin and black sticky tar. I thought, we're not going to make it. Then I heard more firing, but this time from the ship. It was Teddy Shearn firing like crazy at the Japs. When the order to abandon ship was given, he'd gone back, strapped himself to the gun and started shooting at them. He'd seen what they were doing. Bloody amazing. He shot down a bomber and a fighter and hit two others. Single-handed he took them on, even though his chest was shattered. Even when the ship was sinking, he just kept firing. The tracer bullets were still coming out of the water as the ship went down. He was only a few days off 19, you know. A young kid from Tassie who wasn't going to get home. He didn't make it, but we did, because of him. 149 of us were on board that day, and 47 died. But it could have been more. It could have been all of us if Teddy Shearn's courage hadn't given us back our lives. How do you forget something like that? I guess you don't. That's the point. You remember. <laughs>